You're getting some really good juicy steaming deep conditioning going on without having to leave the shower, okay? Hey YouTube, what's going on? Super excited for this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. I am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care, and today I am sharing a few amazing conditioning hair hacks that you should know. These things have helped my hair in so many ways and they have cut down on my wash day, detangling, all of the things because everyone wants a better wash day and that's more effective and you're not in there for like 500 hours, right? Right. So with that being said, you guys know I don't waste any time. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about detangling our hair when it comes to having a conditioner. Conditioners are designed to detangle our hair. Yes, absolutely. However, okay, one tablespoon of olive oil will take you a very long way. Take your conditioner, put it in a bowl, put a nice heaping tablespoon of olive oil, mix it together, and that's going to make the detangling in that conditioner so much better. You guys know I've talked about oleic acid, which is an amazing fatty acid found in olive oil, and it helps to increase that slip in your conditioner. So if you have been struggling with detangling your hair in the shower with your conditioner, add that olive oil, start from the end, work your way up, and you're gonna see a difference. Okay, the second thing I wanna mention is when it comes to conditioning our hair, try not to condition your scalp. The conditioner is really for your hair, shampoo is really for your scalp. So when you take your conditioner, it's okay to kind of get it on the end, get it on the hair, and even if you get a little bit on your scalp, it's okay, but don't take your conditioner and go whoosh, whoosh, on yourself because that can lead to build up, build up, and more build up, and possibly even some potential scalp issues like folliculitis, which is clogging up the follicles, which will then hinder your hair growth. You don't want that, okay? Always focus your conditioner on the shaft of your hair and definitely on the ends. Now, the next thing I wanna mention is if you wanna kinda elevate your conditioning in the shower, get a shower cap and put it over your conditioner while you're in the shower. So here's what I typically do, okay? My little routine. I shampoo my hair, I do a, a rinse, whether that's green tea or ACB rinse, rinse that off, and then I will um, do my conditioner, put my conditioner on my hair, and I will take a plastic cap and put it on my head. And I go about washing the rest of my body, and what I'm doing is I'm doing a in-shower deep conditioning treatment because you already have that steam going in the shower from the water, but when you have that plastic cap over your head with the conditioner underneath, you're getting some really good juicy steaming deep conditioning going on without having to leave the shower, okay? So definitely try that out. It's been an amazing hack that has helped many people, including myself. Okay, the next thing I wanna mention when it comes to conditioning our hair is our ends. I highly, highly recommend <laughs> Can you tell I just got excited? I highly, highly recommend putting conditioner on the ends of, of your hair, like extra conditioner on the ends of your hair because our ends are the most fragile. I'm not gonna call them elderly no more. I'm not gonna call them that, but they are very fragile. So giving them extra TLC, whether that's a little bit of extra moisturizer, a little bit of extra oil conditioner. It's gonna help tremendously with the strength of your ends, but also with reducing breakage as well. The next thing I wanna mention is sections and saturation. Game changer. Number one, when you are conditioning your hair, ideally always section your hair. Depending on how thick and how big your hair is, the more sections, the better. I tend to do two sections in the shower, or sometimes I do four, one, two, three, four, and I always saturate my hair with the conditioner. Never be afraid to apply as much conditioner as you need for your hair, especially depending on the density and the thickness of your hair. The more, the better. But sections and saturating your hair with the conditioner is gonna help tremendously with ensuring that that formula is coating the cuticle properly and you're able to detangle a whole lot better as well. So sections and saturation, Game changer, game changer. <laughs> okay, the next thing I wanna share is that it's okay to alternate out your conditioners. I typically have two or three conditioners that I use interchangeably throughout the month. And even though I can't prove this, I low key feel like when we alternate our products, it helps our hair to not get used to a certain formulation, you know? So try that out, you know, just to see how your hair responds to it. But that's just one thing I do to kind of keep it fun in my regimen is by alternating out my products. 
Okay, and the last thing I want to say is always, always, always use a conditioner after you shampoo your hair. And you might be thinking like, duh, like, we know this. But believe it or not, a lot of people don't because I've been getting a few questions lately on this topic. Like, do I need to always use a conditioner after shampoo? Ideally, yes, you do. And I explained this in my previous video, but shampoos do tend to leave the hair feeling a little rough, a little dry, a little frizzy. And that's because of the cleansing surfactants in the shampoo, which is completely normal. Normal, but the conditioner comes to rescue the day to smooth the cuticle to soften the hair and bring the hair to a much more supple feel that we are looking for so always condition your hair after every shampoo all right guys hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like this video and if you want to join the curly chemistry community all you got to do is hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell to see the loop for more curly chemistry content and of course I have a question for you at the moment in the topic of conditioners at this current moment what is your favorite conditioner what conditioner are you absolutely loving your hair is responding well to whatever that product is comment below let us all know and I cannot wait to have a conversation with you and of course, if you want to learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, check out these amazing ebooks and curly chemistry resources. My best advice are in these ebooks. And of course, I have a special discount code, and you can find more information about them below in the description box. If you want to sign up for one on one hair care coaching, I would love to connect with you one on one to learn more about your hair care challenges and how I can help you personally. If more information about that, check out the link below in the description box. And if you're ready to touch your own hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one to bring your idea to fruition. And for more information about that, check out the link below in the description box. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.